There are several design elements, known as formal elements, that all photographers should be aware of when thinking about their image compositions. Formal elements are visual features that, when applied, have the potential to transform simple subjects into great shots. The seven formal elements are commonly known as line, shape and form, pattern, tone, color, texture, and space. Paying attention to the formal elements will bring order to your compositions and help you emphasize the most critical aspects of the shot. Many of the world's most successful photographers base their images around formal elements and understanding them is essential to developing your photography skills. This video will help you familiarize yourself with the formal elements, so let's get started. Line Lines are a great starting point when thinking about formal elements as they are almost everywhere. Start by looking for lines in your composition that can guide the viewer through your shot or to a specific focal point. These are known as leading lines. Your lines don't necessarily need to be straight, horizontal or vertical. They can be curved, angular or random too. Angular lines that converge into a central point, commonly known as a vanishing point, will add perspective to your image. Think of how a straight road or railway line naturally disappears to a central point on the horizon. This is a classic example of a vanishing point. You can also add lines to your scene by creating entirely new ones. For example, when photographing moving traffic, you can use a slow shutter speed to create a light trail. Shape and form. Regarding shape and photography, this usually means a 2D subject outline. In contrast, form refers to a shape with a more 3D appearance. We've put these two together for this video as one formal element. Effectively representing shape and form in your compositions can turn objects, landscapes, and figures into defined, striking focal points. Using various lighting techniques, such as backlighting, silhouettes, and paying attention to shadows, will help elevate the shapes and forms in your shot. Pattern Symmetry and repetition make interesting photographic subjects, and when you start looking, you'll see a surprising amount of patterns around you in the natural and built environment. Often flat, even light works well for patterns as it emphasizes its repetitive nature equally throughout the shot. But for some patterns that are more 3D in nature, you may want to experiment with a range of lighting setups to help bring them out. Some of the most striking patterns, such as aerial shots or extreme macro photography, can be those not usually visible to the human eye. But you don't need to invest in a drone or fancy macro lens to shoot patterns. Just go out and explore. You'll be amazed at what you can find in your everyday surroundings. Tone. Using variables of contrast and light and dark areas to bring depth to your image. The tone is fundamental in black and white photography, where it should be used to guide the viewer through your image where there is no color present to focus their attention. Practice makes perfect when it comes to tone, and we recommend trying different lighting scenarios and contrast levels for your preferred aesthetic. Color. A prominent color in your image, whether it's a concrete color block or a set of similar colors that form a palette, can make a bold statement in your shot. Colors can also convey a mood to your image that will be emotive to the viewer, and you could also single out one particular color to make a striking statement and have it pop out of your shot. Texture Texture in your composition can bring your image to life by giving the viewer a tangible connection with it, and is particularly popular in macro photography. You can draw textures out of all kinds of surfaces and environments. To do this, you can use a wide range of lighting setups and shoot with a variety of depths of field. Textures are ideal for experimenting. Try different setups and see what you like. You can use flat light with the camera head on to bring out the surfaces of a weather ball. Or use backlighting for ripples and dunes, shallow depth of field for intricate materials, and long exposure to get the silky smooth look of flowing water. Space. Building space into your compositions creates a sense of scale and brings added depth to your shot. It can also provide breathing room for your image's main subject, allowing the viewer to focus on the scene's primary features. Adding space to your compositions is particularly useful with outdoor photography, where you may want to emphasize the scale of geographical features, such as mountains and bodies of water. However, you can add space effectively when shooting almost any photographic subject. A combination of formal elements. Once you've got a good handle on the formal elements and how they work, you can begin to apply them to your shots across many image subjects. And you can enhance your photographs even more by combining multiple formal elements into a single frame. Now you've reached the end of the video, it's time to get out there with your camera and get familiar with these formal elements around you. Remember to have fun with it. 